Okay, so in our third episode of the season, we're going to be looking at the equation of a line. And specifically, we're going to be looking at how we can find the equation of a line using some algebra concepts. So hopefully you've watched the previous videos where we covered the idea of slope and also what a linear equation is. So this should just be a walk in the park, building on your previous knowledge. Now, just a few key algebra tips from our last episode where you would have learned a bit about the slope. Uh, if you have a vertical line, a line that goes straight up, then its slope, which uh, generally is just m, as we learnt in the last video, is undefined. And the reason this is the case is because we have some change in y, which of course is going to be between two points on that vertical line, and it's going to be divided by zero, because there's no movement in the x direction. Of course, we remember the slope equation, as you can see down here as well, from the question we're going to be looking at later, as being the change in y on the change in x. So it makes sense. If there's no change in x, we're dividing by zero, and we cannot do that. You cannot divide by zero. But then we've also got the idea of horizontal lines, and if we have horizontal lines, then their slope is zero. So if we have a flat line, our slope is zero. And that's because the change in y is obviously going to be zero, because we have no change in y but the change in x is just going to be between two points on that horizontal line. And as a result, we end up with 0 divided by anything, which we know is going to be 0. Okay, so let's get back to this equation of a line. I've mentioned it a few times in the last videos, but here it is laid out nicely in front of you. y equals mx plus c. So we have y, which is the output. We obviously have m, which is a slope. You may also refer to it as a gradient. That's another word for it. And we have x as the input. So we input some value of x, and we get some value of y out. You've probably seen that from the little graphs we had up in the previous episodes too. But then we also add on some constant c, which represents the y value of the y-intercept. And this offsets the graph by a certain amount. It doesn't change the slope, it just moves the position relative to the set of axes. And here's a really important point. I think I've mentioned it before, but just to recap, we can have any two points and we can draw a line through them. All you need to create a line is just two single points on the Cartesian plane, with x coordinate and y coordinate for each. And with that, let's have a look at the next step, and that is finding the equation of a line. So we're going to find the line that passes through 2, 6 and 7, 41. So we identify our coordinate points, and remember what I said in the slope video last episode? I generally say that the one with the larger numbers is a coordinate 2. 2. So x2 and y2 make up that coordinate. And then, obviously, x1 and y1 is the one that's smaller. That just helps with the algebra. Keep things simple so you don't make those little plus or minus mistakes. But what we do is I've already identified them as x2 and y2 and x1 and y1. I just substitute them into the formula. So you remember the formula? Here it is. So I take that y2 and I just plonk it into position in the formula. I do the same with the y1 and I do the same with x2 and x1. And then I get 35 on 5 from the two points that are listed on the board. And 35 divided by 5, that works out to be 7. So we can simplify slope which is denoted by m to just be 7. Then what we do is, this is the important part here, we substitute in a point and slope to rearrange for c, which is the y value of the y-intercept. And uh, of course, what we do is we just take any one of the points, it doesn't matter which one, I'm going to take 741 and just do some algebra with that. But what we do is we put 41 in where y is, so we know that the general form is y equals mx plus c, the y is 41, and the x is 7. We just put a point in there. And that way we only have one variable we need to solve for. And that variable is c, the y-intercept y value. So what we do is we subtract 49 from both sides, because remember, as with anything in algebra, if you do the same to both sides, it's all good. So if we take 49 from here, it's going to be 49 take 49, so we're effectively getting rid of that on the right-hand side, and we do the same on the left-hand side, and then we just have c left over. And we work out that this value of c for this specific line is negative 8. So the y-intercept y-value is negative 8. And now we have the equation of a line, y equals 7x take 8. Thank you for watching. Join us next time. However, 
If you need more practice or more support, check out our apps on the App Store. They have great worked examples, they have incredible worksheets and other materials that can help you really ace exams. We have Formulae for iPhone and Formulae for iPad. Also check us out on Twitter and Facebook to keep up to date with all the educational material that's coming out. Thank you.